Hello everyone, it is I7 and this is module 8.1 Geysers and Vents and for this one we are covering the Cool Salt Slush Geyser. Now you may be wondering if you saw the last module that this looks, you know, very similar. What are you doing, Sevens? And it's because personally, in my opinion, this one is very similar to the previous um, one that we covered, the previous geyser. So the previous one produced polluted water at a cold temperature. This one does brine. <laughs> so it's also at a minus 10 degrees Celsius and requires research. It requires the, um, uh, the field research skill. And as you can see right now, it's producing brine at a cold temperature. And just like before, you can set it up this way where it'll pump it out. If you didn't see it, basically you can change the automation to below and then it'll constantly pump it out or you can wait and maybe put it at like 250 or something and then it'll fill up to this point and then once it gets to above 250 it'll activate you know however you see fit however you want to do it I do not have power connected here so we're not going to see that this time um, Brian is basically as it says Brian is a natural high highly concentrated solution of salt dissolved in water um, basically salt water and uh, so with brine what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to build a desal there we go spelled it correctly desalinator and basically as it says right here it requires five kilograms of salt water ah well there you go it's not you know salt water and brine are are different in this game but I kind of view them maybe I shouldn't uh, as one in the same but you bring brine, you pump it in here, you pump in five kilograms of it. It takes 480 watts of power, and then what will happen is it'll produce um, water. But you'll notice it'll be slightly smaller amounts of water, and then you'll get salt. Um, so keep that in mind uh, when using this. So yes, for the cool salt slush geyser, my goodness, what a name. You're going to want to build this to kind of encapsulate it in. And then you can just pump it out to where you need to go. And as I said before, these numbers and things will be different. And not every colony will have one of these. And you've essentially tamed it at this point. But keep in mind that the uh, brine is at a cold temperature. So you're going to want to do something with it. Maybe cool down a hot area. Or um, I don't know. Maybe make an area colder. Uh, I use mine in my live stream. You should go check out my live stream. It's great. Um, the I use mine to cool down my oxygen uh, by making a metal box. Uh, so yes, there's that. Um, but that should pretty much cover this one. Uh, in the next one, we will cover another geyser or vent. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm Sevens, and I'll see you guys in the next one.